Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do these at home DIY lash extensions. I've tried to keep this video as beginner friendly as possible so let's just get started with the video. To begin you're going to need some eyelashes. I like to use lash clusters and these ones are from So Su, but you can get any lash clusters of your choice. I know Amazon do some, but what I would recommend is that they have different sizes. These ones are from 8mm to 14 You're also going to need a lash bond and seal. Because you want these to last for a few days, you will need the proper bond and seal. You can also buy this from Amazon, but I have two ones here that aren't from Amazon. One is the Tatty Lashes one and also one is the seamless one that I got with a lash set. So you can use any one of your choice, I will link one in the description box. I would recommend having a spoolie or a lash brush near as well just so you can brush out your eyelashes. And I know that people use tweezers for this look, I personally prefer the clamp tweezers that are shaped like this because they just allow you to press the eyelashes in together. So to start what you're going to do is use your bond which is the tacky black side and just brush through your eyelashes. I like to start off with just minimal amount of product. In order to coat the lashes you are going to need product on the brush but what you want to do is make sure that each lash is separated as you are brushing through. You're then going to take your first lash, take the longest lash that you're going to use, apply the adhesive onto the lash directly, wait 10 seconds for it to go tacky and then just place it underneath your lash line. Try and keep it as close to your lash line so it touches the hair. What you want it to do is touch your eyelash hair because that's what's going to bond it together. And see how just adding one has just made a difference already. I'm going to repeat this again. So using another 14 millimeter, which is the longest on the outside, I'm going to get my clamp, hold it on the end, apply the lash glue, wait for the lash glue to go tacky, and then I'm going to hold up my eye. See how I'm pinching my eye up and just looking down into the mirror. I recommend this because it's the easiest technique having the mirror underneath and the lash should pretty much stick to your individual lashes if the glue is tacky enough. So this is personal preference but what I like to do is move on to the other eye. I know that some people like to stay and work on one eye and just remember the lashes they've used but sometimes I forget which one I'm using so I like to do one eye, add a couple of lashes and then move on to the other eye just so I'm matching them up throughout. So what I'm doing here is just brushing through that bond through my eyelashes again. And see here, I'm pulling the lash from the top. Another tip that I can give you is make sure that you pull the lash from the top and never from the bottom because you will lose some lashes. And I'm just going to match it up on the other side. So anything that I use on one eye, I'm going to use on the other. So I'm going to do two 14 millimeters on the end. So just two clusters essentially. Doing the same technique that I use for the other eye. So just applying the glue, wait for it to go tacky and then using the clamp to just layer it down onto my eye lifting my eyelid up because I just think that when you lift your eyelid up you really do get the precision that you need the clamp that I'm using I just make sure that any eyelashes are separated so throughout I will just use my spoolie just to make sure that no lashes are clumped together because that's what can make your eyelashes look messy so I always start with the longest eyelashes on the end, which were the 14 millimeters. I'll then drop down to 12 and so forth and so on. So for this section, I'm going to use 12 millimeters and I'm just gonna repeat the same technique. This just gives your lash like a layered look. So long on the outside and then it feathers into a shorter lash in the middle and the inside. Hold your eye nice and tight and look down into your mirror and then just place the eyelash on. I find that when you are working your way towards the inside, it can be a little bit harder than usual. So really hold that eye tight. Make sure that the glue is tacky like I said before and almost just place it on the lash because you want it to stick to a lash essentially because that's what's going to give you the long lasting of three to five days or even longer sometimes I know some people that can wear these up to two weeks if they look after them so see how I'm just holding my eye tight using my mirror as my guide and then just placing it if I don't feel like it's in the right place you'll see that I just sort of wiggle it around until I get it I will never stick it down until I know that it's in the right place and if it is wrong you can just always brush it out and start again. You will see me throughout using my spoolie just to make sure that no eyelashes are stuck together. 
this is what's going to give it that long lasting effect because when the lashes do clump together it does make it messy and it doesn't last i'm then going to use an extra 12 millimeters again just to follow that up holding my eye nice and tight placing it underneath and just following the shape of my eye you can see that even though I've taken my time, it is a really easy technique once you get the hang of it and it really does leave you with a really natural lash. Um, look at the progress so far, I think it looks really natural at this point. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to add any more to the inside because I really liked the way this looked. You can carry on and add some extra ones on the inside, just keep going smaller just to fit the shape of your eye but I decided I was going to stop at this point. I then took the other side of the bond and seal and this is the sealer. Make sure you've got enough product and what I do is lay it down flat and then tap this underneath and then I flip the brush around and then I press it in. I then use my clamp to seal and hold it together. This is the glue that's going to give you the long lasting effect so how well you put this on is how long it'll last. Really take your time doing this because it can be a little bit messy, the glue is honestly it's a bit like nail glue it's so strong so be careful when you're working close to your eye i highly recommend these clamp tweezers this is what's going to make it so much easier for you to do i always struggle putting lashes on until i got one of these clamp tweezers and it makes such a difference i'm then going to just add a little bit of mascara just to show you what it looks like all together but see how the lashes are really natural they sort of blend into my lashes I prefer this that I know that they will last a few weeks and I can just put my mascara on daily. It takes me two seconds to just put a little bit of mascara on and they look really natural. I'm just going to show you the final look now. This is the final look with the lashes and a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.